Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me here once again in Transport Fever 2 where we're overlooking one of the last creations in the previous episode of this uh, Bristol series which is the uh, machines factory station, the, the whole chain leading into creating machines out here in the wilds of Cheddar. As you can see we've already got a large lorry load of planks coming in 52 of them. We're going to need those, I think, because... Oh, OK. We've got a fair number of planks, but no steel. In fact, we've had no steel delivered at all up to this point. But it is now on its way down from all the way over there in Shepton Mallet. Uh, but, yeah, there's our train just leaving the steel foundry there at Shepton Mallet. And that will come in with steel at some point during the beginning of this episode. However... This is only the starting, the jumping off point for what we're doing today. I think I hinted at this towards the end of the last episode. I've got this, well, you might think a rather bizarre and reckless idea in mind about where to get, how to get these machines shipped out to the, to the towns that actually need them. That train is going very, very slowly. We'll take you away for the moment. What I'm planning to do is to start using, for the very first time in any of my Let's Play series, freight by air. We're sending these machines by aeroplane to somewhere that needs them. There are towns over here that need machines, and we may start shipping machines to them. Uh, do they actually need a significant number of them? No, it's kind of here, their third demand, 19. No, there was some place up here Congressbury was it? Oh yeah, you do need machines. You're not getting any. Um, so we might start shipping them out to Congressbury by train or by truck or some other means. But what I'm thinking is actually sending those machines out here into the wilds of Wales. We have a couple of towns here that want machines. We've got Caldicott where it's a primary demand, 137. In fact, Caldicott has been getting no goods at all, despite being at the centre of quite a number of industrial change. Roger has a small demand growing now. Uh, and up here, Lydney likewise has a, well, quite a substantial demand for, for machines. Now, there is a demand, but there is a machines factory already down here in Wales, uh, in Newport. But that's actually sending most of the machines it creates off back to England to the docks at uh, at Portbury. Uh, they are going to Portbury? Yes, they are going to Portbury. There's 150 there waiting already. Newport gets ooh, only 20%, not a lot. So obviously there's more money to be made, as far as the game's concerned, sending those machines by boat. Let's see if we can get a similar, very positive and profitable result out of machines by air. And I'm lost again. Where the heck is Cheddar? There's Cheddar. OK, so let's crack on. We need an airport. Uh, oh, we want a cargo airport. Now, I've got a couple of mods here. Again, a reminder, you probably know this already. Uh, this series having gone on for quite some time already. Is this, these, All these mods are in my Steam collection, a link to which is in the description below. Uh, this is a vanilla cargo airfield. OK. And you're... Ooh, ooh, hang on, hang on. Steel's arriving. How much is that train going to make? Is it going to be profitable already? So I, I, I keep getting distracted by things happening in the game. Are you, yeah, oh my goodness. Five and a half million for one full load of steel. Okay, now that's carrying 120. I just want to check. It's in my... Um, in my new Island Hub series, uh, I had a comment on, uh, on one of the videos from NW9 uh, suggesting, would it be worth or you know optimizing your, your routes so that your, your routes actually carry the amount of produce produced by your factories? Yeah, it would make sense, but I'm so inadequate at managing that sort of stuff. Yeah, 42. I No, I think we've got about right there. So the factory is producing currently 200. That route is 193. That may need to increase, certainly once we've got demand going, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, let's get some planning done. We want an airport round here somewhere. And which air, uh, sort of airport? You're a small one. You're a small one. 
Actually, before we get on to that, let's have a look at the aircraft options we've got. We've got an airport in Lulzgate, the Bristol Airport. There you are. Which is very busy and profitable. So what do we have in terms of cargo? We've got a number of small planes. You carry 20. The Hercules, which is a propeller, of course, from 1962, goodness, carries 24. You carry 20. Mm. 20 is the maximum. These larger planes carry substantially more. We could... Um, oh, you're a small one. Oh yes, you're, you're a variation of the Hercules, I think, aren't you? 24. Can I... I might actually build a large airport, just in case. I mean, we can always put small aircraft on it, can't we? Uh, oh, and I found Cheddar again quite easily. Well done. Uh, a large airfield. You're looking quite good, aren't you? But ideally, ooh, you're, uh, I keep pressing R because that's rotating my other games, but it's not. It's M and N around here, isn't it? You're coming in from that side. Well, that makes that. Yeah, I'm okay with that actually. I'm okay with that. And can I place you? I think we'll put a road out to the airport. I mean, I could possibly. No, I can't connect it to that truck stop. No, because I've got roads in the way. If I placed you... Actually, that looks quite good, doesn't it? Yeah. If I place you down there, it wasn't too expensive either. And we need a little bit of road to connect you up. We'll use this country road here. Uh, hmm. Actually, I could. Can I? Will you? Where, where do you connect? Oh, you connect at this gate thing here, don't you? Yes, that's where you connect. So if we do something like that. And bend it to there. Yeah, I mean, it's not actually going to be functional in any real sense. We're not uh, taking lorries down there or whatever. Uh, let's... Uh, Make this the same asphalty colour. Uh, in fact, let's make it all asphalty colour. Uh, I think I, I, I discovered this. I can't. I might have been a, a video that Grand T did, mentioning that uh, if you want to actually colour over, if you want to paint within the asset area itself, you have to use the shift key. Oh, I don't want to paint the. The runway or the taxiway. No, don't don't do that. But I do want to paint the grass within the airport. Something like that. And I might come back and make a better job of this a little bit later. I want to leave the buildings properly. Okay. Uh, yeah, that looks like a mess. I might tidy that up later. Okay, so that's our airport. And you are definitely connected to the industry. So that's Cheddar Airport. And we're going to put one in somewhere around Caldicott, I think. Now, because there is quite a lot going on down here already on this side of uh, Caldicott and Roger, we've got oil industries, we've got construction materials, we've got passenger lines, so much going on. Uh, we could, I think, fit an airport in here, certainly if we take that bit of road out. But I'm probably going to want a rail line to take that those machines up to Lydney. Uh, possibly also Newport, <laughs> to send machines to Newport. Yeah, rather than use Newport, getting them from its own factory. Uh, so I think we'll want some clear space, and that means going up in these hills. So can we do that? Uh, another large airport and we don't actually need it oh I need to connect it to a railway won't I so actually I think it's probably better that way round isn't it yeah so which way are you coming in you're coming in from the right hand side there okay and because you're in the hills you're naturally 
you're naturally fairly high, which is what hills mean, isn't it, I suppose? <laughs> but yeah, you're above the road and all the other infrastructure, so the planes won't, hopefully, uh, go passing through the middle of anything uh, like it can do. I think we've got room at the back there for, yeah, for a train station should we need it. And in fact, ooh, what we could do, Gonna, yeah, we're going to use trucks, aren't we, to get into Caldicott. So let's put a truck stop down here. That's a train. Truck. And what do we want here? Uh, could we use a fancy one? For machines. Intelligent logistics. You guys are quite substantial. And I can't, I've got so many of these mods now, I can't remember how many terminals you... Are you the one with multiple terminals? Or just the one terminal? You could be. Uh, will you connect to that? Okay, where's the connector point? Where's the... Oh, you've got roads coming in and out, haven't you? So you'd be... Uh, you connect to there. I'm not sure I like you. You're quite good, but you've only got one turn. You're fairly small. Ooh, a cargo station. Oh, you are small, and I have a feeling you are what single stop as well. But no, you're you're actually a, a truck sales depot aren't you? <laughs> more than anything else. Uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna stick with a standard one, then, are we? Yeah, we could do that, but I'm not sure. It's a bit larger than I need. Substantially larger than I need, I think. Oh, but you, you work nicely there. Yes, okay, that's what we're doing. So we can then put a country road. Uh, we want a fairly fast one, 60 miles an hour. Yeah, and you'll be going into Caldicott down here. Actually, let's put our destination stop in to start with. So where's our, and yeah, yeah we'll use we'll use you as usual. So where are the machines wanted? The machines are wanted in the centre of town. So there's a risk we could get in the way of our bus routes. So let's bring that up to make sure that our cargo deliveries and our buses don't uh, conflict with each other. So we could, so you're coming in from there, so you could come in this way and go out. Yeah, there's quite a bit of Caldicott which wants machines, isn't there? And you are covering a lot of that ground. I think that will work. Okay, so I think we'll come in down here. Yep, yep, that sounds good. So I want that country road. And we will, uh, can we go, we're having to go up, aren't we? Can we go above that track? Ooh, that is a bit, bit of an ask, isn't it? And besides which, you're actually going straight into the airport, which you can't do. Okay, let's get rid of that. What might as well do smooth that down actually I am I am extraordinarily wealthy uh, in game terms at least yeah, in, in real terms not quite so much perhaps but you know in game terms I have got three billion in the bank oh that's a very sharp edge I don't know might try and smooth that out a bit can we do that can I raise this a little bit? Should that? Yeah, the trouble is the road there isn't actually helping, is it? What if I get rid of that road? Yeah. That might allow me to smooth this off a bit better. Hmm, not entirely convinced, but, well, that's better. 
uh, but it might make it easier for us to get across and over, which is the thing I'm trying to do, over that railway line. Actually, um, can, oh dear, yeah, come out of there. Don't really want to go up. Stay flat. Okay, and then a bit of curvature down there, and then come down here without actually hitting the oh, without actually hitting the track. Oh, go on! Is it <laughs> really? Just being silly now. Actually, oh, mid mid bridge height. Will that actually help at all? Not quite sure why it's so fast. Okay, so the track is there's a bit of a junction thing going on there. Will a different type of bridge work? So, oh, thin pillar. No. No pillar? Green? No. Oh, come on, it's not that low, is it? This is very odd. Okay, I think we have it. I think that'll work. Just wait for the auto save to complete, and we are done. Okay, got it. Right, can I connect to there? I can. It ain't pretty, but it looks like it might work from that end anyway. And ideally, I'd like to sort of cut in there if I can. Yeah. And round to there. Okay, yeah, yeah, that looks fine. So if we have a bus route, a bus route, no, a truck route that takes machines, a sort of vaguely gold colour, from there to there, and that goes round there, and it's not interfering with my bus routes, and my bus routes are not interfering with it, that will be lovely. And we'll call that the Coldercott Machine Delivery Line. And that'll be ready for us when we've got our aeroplanes delivering. Oh, well, I don't need a hangar there, actually. I don't need a hangar on both airports. Can I delete that? Yes. There you go. Ooh, nasty mess you made of the ground. There you go. That's better. So, that's Caldicott. Uh, where is Cheddar gone? I've lost Cheddar again. Oh, there you are. There's our airport. Okay. And we're going to create a new line. It could be... Blue. A very light blue. For air. Yeah, that makes sense. From Cheddar Airport. You're going all the way over here to Caldicott Airport. Yes. That looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it crosses midair over Nailsy. That'll be fun. That looks like it'll work. Uh, Cheddar Machine Air. Yeah, I suppose we could call it that. Right, we need vehicles. Uh, I suppose if I put the trucks on first, then it'll know that it can take the machines from there, won't it? Um, I'm not. Yeah, I can never quite recall. And to be honest, I'm just too lazy to actually test it. Whether having the line is sufficient for the game to know that there is a way for machines, for example, to get from factory to customer, or whether you actually need the vehicles on there as well. Now, is there a vehicle depot round here? Oh, come on, there must be somewhere round here. Got lots of vehicles. Oh, there's one there in Chepstow. Can you get there? 
Actually, you can if I put this road back. <laughs> so let's do that then. And come out. Yeah, I don't need a bridge there. That will do. Okay, and I'll upgrade all this to be fast country road as well. Okay, and could we actually continue that? Just to sort of put this road back. Well, we could. We could actually put it onto that bridge as well. Well, is it? I have no idea what purpose that will serve, but it's it's part of our commitment to protect the environment and uh, and people's ability to travel, that sort of stuff. <laughs> Where do I get this stuff from? Okay, so we want some trucks. They're carrying cargo. It's going to be machines in particular. There we go. And what do we want? Um, we'll go by top speed, shall we? You're quite good. 56, you carry 42. Uh, all these, you carry 52. You all, oh, okay, so 42, 28. Actually, that's not a bad number because it's a fairly short route, actually, isn't it? So we could use these here, carrying 28. If we discover that we need to ship more, uh, into into Coldicott, then I'll perhaps upgrade to the to the man for the forty for the forty two capacity, or simply ooh, 60, 68, Gosh, okay. So which one shall we use? DHL or Calco Quito? I have no idea who you are. Unfortunately, the mod doesn't tell me. But we'll buy three of you, okay, and I will then put you on the appropriate line. There you go. And I ought to edit this line so there's a wait till full. Called got transfer. No, it's not. I'll change that. Full load and we'll wait for... I tend to leave it around 60 seconds or so. I mean, I've never done, never done any particular analysis on what's a good wait time. Uh, I'll call that airport because it is at the airport that's where it is and so we want some aeroplanes so I need to find cheddar again there you are and which one shall we take they all take everything oh are these are these the only cargo ones we've got really oh is this a small airport? <laughs> Is this a small airport that I put down? Oh, that's it says large there. Oh, for small and medium cargo. Oh, it's because it's a modded one. It's it's not. Ah, okay. Well, okay. We're we're going to be using. So I don't want that. I want to go there. We're we'll using the smaller aircraft then. So no, oh, I didn't realise the game was clever enough to say your hangar is on a small or a large airport and I'll give you the appropriate selection of aircraft. Nice. So you carry 20, you carry 24. None of you are terribly fast. You're, oh, oh no, I was looking at the thrust, not the speed. Um, okay, we'll use you. We will buy three of you, only 25 million. And we'll put you on the Cheddar Machine Airline, which again I actually need to configure. Full waiting. And I'll wait time. Again, I'll leave it at around 60. Talking of optimizing, what's our, our rate on that is only 61. That's pathetic, isn't it? Considering the factory will hopefully produce several hundred, 400. Yeah, I might have to make that a large airport. <laughs> so we shall see. Um, are you going to produce any machines for me, please? I've got a customer waiting. Four machines. Oh, yes! It's taking machines. It's getting machines. 
Um, can you go on to Caldecott? Get you out of the way. That's right. Okay, so that's starting to take off. So the next thing then is can we get a train? I suppose I could use trucks again into Lydney, couldn't I? I could. We've already got a fast road there going into Lydney. Why that is that slow? That better not be slow road. No, it is 30 mile an hour. Yeah, most of it. Yeah, but I don't like that cob you can't have cobbled streets in a modern town. Not not in um, 2012. make you all the same I suppose all the way along there good that's fine and I'll make you faster as well uh, so we could deliver by lorry rather than train Actually, how many terminals we've we got here oh we have got ooh, quite a few terminals oh, lots of terminals ah oh, that's nice good so we could do that. Okay, let's let's try that. Let's see if we can set up a route into Lydney as well. So we're going to want a drop-off point, and the machines are actually. Let's get our. We've got two bus routes coming into Lydney. We've got the mega bus, which is the bus route from Chepstow, and the local Lydney route. There are no trains actually stopping at Lydney anymore. No, there is a route that goes through, which is the Midlands Welsh route, if I remember correctly. If I turn that on, it'll tell me. Um, Midland and Welsh, yeah, which goes through Lydney. I think it did used to stop there, but I stopped it stopping there because I wanted to use a mega bus, a big intercity bus. Not that Lydney or, well, Lydney is certainly not a city. Is Chepstow a city? Not sure. Uh, right, so yes, sorry, stop waffling, man, and get on with doing this. So we want a... So you're coming in probably from there. So actually somewhere in the middle here will be fine. And you won't then... Yeah, you won't get in the way of the buses. So if I stick you there. That's excellent. Create myself a new route. From there. From there, and what colour will this be? Ooh. Use another type of blue to go to there. That looks good. Uh, actually, I'll use a darker blue. As that stands out a bit more. Okay, and you're getting in the way of nothing. Awesome. And logically enough, that will be Lydney Machine Delivery put some trucks on it and these can be faster trucks obviously because they've got a much further distance to go at fast at a fast speed okay what is that route it's going there through there i might want to tinker with that you might actually go up that way perhaps yeah we might look at that to improve that route maybe uh, so yes in fact i'll change that so it waits There we go, that will do. And again, some more trucks. Uh, machines, we've already got that set up there. These can be faster ones. 62, should we use a British set of trucks? Of course, they're lorries over here, but there you go. Uh, Argos. I'm sure Argos. Obviously, Eddie Stobart is a commercial delivery company delivers pretty much everything for but Argos is a more retail delivery but they deliver to warehouses as well I'm sure so we'll stick four on there it won't make any money for quite some time I'm fairly certain uh, Lydney machine delivery excellent so that is about to start working uh, let's find Cheddar Airport again there we are Where's our aeroplane? You're filling up slowly. So what I will do, 
is I will forward a little bit. I'll play on and we'll wait until we get our first machine delivery by air, which should be terribly, terribly exciting. Be back with you on the other side of a sexy video effect. And our very first delivery of machines by air is over the seven. It's approaching Wales. It's coming in to land at Caldicott Airport. And you may notice this is the second aircraft we've taken off from Cheddar Machines Factory, also carrying only three machines. Yeah, so um, currently our manifest isn't terribly substantial. But hopefully that will pick up once we start seeing things being delivered. Oh, and the local lorries have already gone. So, oh, there's one coming back. Now, how much are we going to make from these three machines, which might give us a clue as to how profitable this might be, yeah, or indeed not. Okay, I have to wait for it to turn around, taxi around. I suppose at least small airports don't need so much taxiing, he said, possibly, <laughs> not having studied it at all. Just making things up on the fly. Once again, this is a lovely model. Uh, I'm not sure if this one is actually a vanilla in-game asset or if it's a modded one. No, not entirely sure. I may annotate to confirm if it is a mod or not uh, when I upload the video. Can we go a bit faster? We can, and here it is, pulling into the terminal. And we've delivered. Oh, I, I didn't even notice how much that made. I was too busy looking to see if uh, those machines were transferred to the, to the lorry park. Uh, so, if I go to finances here, well, that's not bad, actually. 433k. Did you see that pop up? Because I, I certainly didn't, I'm afraid. Yeah, I was a bit reckless. I deliberately came here to watch that number. And then, just as it was turning up, I went and looked somewhere else story of my life that is I'm afraid but yeah oh that looks quite good from just three machines to be honest I've not really had any problem at all with airlines being profitable or not I, they usually if you can get them right they're usually really good so there you go oh it's our next one coming in oh I'll watch this one which has also got three on it possibly do need more aircraft though if that factory in Cheddar is to do the business now, pay attention, young man, and watch this number pop up. Should be another 400k. 400, exactly. Gosh, that info panel was correct. That's quite good. I had looked around here to see if, if there was anything these aircraft could take back, and I'm a, I was a bit lost for options, really, because most of the industries in this part of Wales are already being used to, to, to as part of local industrial chains, most of which actually send their produce across the water to England. But they... Blinkerneck, that was a fast jet. That's a passenger line, presumably. Um, yeah, it's all going across. There's not much here that's not been untapped, which I could make use of um, somewhere around Cheddar. But where's... This is our lorry going to Caldicott. About to... Oh, you've already delivered. As always, I'm too late. So that was 8k. Okay, that's quite a nice logo actually. Where would that be from? Presumably European. I'm thinking somewhere like Switzerland, Austria, somewhere like that perhaps. Who knows? It, maybe if you do, then please do just let me know. Just drop a note into the comments box below. So how are we doing? As our airport doing? Oh, we've got machines waiting. Eight. Oh, excellent. So, how many are we sending out? We are sending some out. That's getting better. We're getting numbers now. Nine. We've got a fair amount of wood and steel coming in. Could do with more. And it looks like we're, well, we could be approaching... Uh, we're nowhere near upgrade yet. But if I put another aircraft on that line. If I clone you, there you go. That'll take those uh, 9, 10, whatever it is. 14! Okay, I think we're en route 
to... Uh, where, where, where's that aircraft coming from? Oh! <laughs> I did wonder what would what would happen if it was possible to have a single central hangar which would service airports elsewhere in the network which aren't directly connected and yes you can so this cargo aircraft which is on the Cheddar to Caldicott route has actually come from Bristol Lulsgate Airport from my passenger hangar here oh good Good. All the, the only trouble is, of course, that's now stuck behind all these passenger lines. Talking of airlines and profit, just double check. Say I'm not telling you porkies. Bristol to Cardiff, nearly five million. Six million going up to the Midlands. Wow. And yeah, I think they're doing quite well. It looks like we're covering the rate okay there. Why is it? Yeah, aircraft are fine. You just need to have a suitable distance and no easy alternatives for your passengers or your cargo to get there otherwise. So that uh, aircraft here, you are, oh you're just turning in. Okay, and you're, ooh, 21, you're going to be full. Do you know what? I'm going to end this video here. It's, it's a relatively short one for this series, but I think we've got enough done. And we can follow this aircraft. I do like following aircraft through the sky. They do look good. So if you've enjoyed this, it'll be great to hear from you. Uh, and remembering, this series has only got a couple more episodes to run. So if there's anything in particular that you would like to see done or see in the game uh, for those final few episodes, then please do let me know. In fact, anything you feel like saying about the game or what I've done with it, just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. Also, just to say, if you've not already done so, you could subscribe to the channel and that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Charles Fever 2, until the next time, bye bye for now.